This is Duke University. Here at the Global Brazil Lab, I study how flows and circulations connect communities, how the flows of electrons and the flows of money and the flows of water connect Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, Argentina, and Bolivia. Uh, she works on energy politics, uh, energy politics in South America, and particularly Itaipu, which is a binational, the world's largest dam. I would welcome Christine, and she's going to say a few words. Thank you. Wow, this is... It's, oh, hi, everybody. I think this is a good time uh, to be studying Brazil and why I think Duke and the Franklin Humanities Institute is a great place to do it. Uh, I research a very large hydroelectric dam, Itaipu Binacional, Itaipu Binacional Dam, which is on the border of Paraguay and Brazil. It straddles the Paraná River. It's the largest dam in the world. It's the largest energy plant. It produces a massive amount of electricity. It's big enough to supply one third of the state of California's needs for electricity, so it's massive. In the United States, two thirds of the electricity we consume comes by burning fossil fuels, two thirds. And el electricity is a good match for how a society consumes energy. So two thirds fossil fuels. And this is the norm globally. There is one region in the world where the dominant source of electricity is not fossil fuels, and that is South America. In South America, two thirds of the electricity consumed comes from renewable energy resources namely hydropower. And I work on the largest source of renewable energy in the region in the world that predominantly uses renewable energy. But because it's an international dam, because it's owned by two countries, what it produces isn't just electricity, it also produces international relations and international relationships. It brings its two governments a large source of liquidity. And so People in the governments think about how to spend the money on education, on health, on um, job creation. Brazil beckons comparative analysis. It asks us to cross boundaries. It asks us to cross linguistic, oceanic, cultural, imperial boundaries. In order to understand energy and energy conflicts, you actually have to have a conversation that crosses humanities, natural sciences and social sciences. We've started an energy integration project that basically uh, takes advantage of a massive amount of data that is being gathered in Latin America across different countries in terms of energy use, energy production, energy politics, energy conflicts, energy consumption. We've started um, an energy analysis group that will look at this data and will synthesize it and will uh, create really pragmatic reports for, um, for countries in South America, specifically analyzing how it is that various countries in Latin America use energy, their energy potential, their energy obstacles, um, and the sort of the social impact of energy. I'm a cultural anthropologist. So what we do when we're cultural anthropologists is we participate and we observe and we try to get to know local cultures and we try to get to know local practices. I you know, started teaching Duke undergraduates, which was a privilege. And what's struck me already is how they have caught on and embody the value of crossing disciplines. I'm actually bringing in some of my own writing and research process so that the students themselves can see how to take data and get it into something written. This is an opportunity for Duke students to not only analyze the data, but work alongside students in South America as well, asking questions and answering questions that are important, not just intellectually here in the United States, but on the ground in South America. There are more and more opportunities and in fact, needs to work in contexts of incredible diversity. And this is an opportunity to ask questions and to produce very practical knowledge. In a place like South America, which by the way, exports fossil fuels, renewable energy resources are not an alternative source of energy. And so if we want to think about the good, the bad and the ugly, the political, the cultural, the social dynamics of a post fossil fuel future, South America is 
I think, an interesting place to look. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.